welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, that's Bill, and we have a case of the giggles. She does. I certainly have a case of the yeah. giggles. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate you, we appreciate your support. Um, okay, I, so- I think we just spent five minutes doing the intro to that video, seriously. That was, seriously, it was the most ridiculous intro we've ever done. It's all but because of her. It happens. You made me laugh, I couldn't yeah. stop laughing. Yeah. He's trying to like fart. He was like, Okay, let's do this. Okay, so in this video, we're going to tell you what to do. Like, okay, well, actually, let me preface this first. So a lot of times people reach out to us and they're like, where should we go in Louisville? What should we do in Kentucky? What are the places to get good food? What are the places to get whiskey? What are the places to get a good port? So that's why we are doing this video. We're going to answer your questions. Here's where we go, what we like to eat, what we like to do when we're in Kentucky, right? Yep. Yeah. These are places we like to go to in Kentucky. We've been, what, three times over the last year. Yes, yes we so, have. So, this is just our experience, our perspective. No, we're not gonna share like these secret honey holes. This is just going to be us talking about where we like to go, what we like to eat, what we like yep. to, what distilleries we like to go to, so. And I, I think, in addition to this, I think, uh, what is it, Bourbon Pursuit Podcast, I think they have something on like Yelp, which lists a bunch of different places oh, yeah. too. So you'll probably hear similar places on there because a lot of people like the same places. Well, I think a lot of people would recommend these places oh, yeah, too. Yeah. But these are just places we've been to, experiences we've done, and so that's what we like. Yep. Yeah, and we have this broken out by kind of liquor stores, bars, pours of whiskey, um, we have food, and we have distilleries to visit. We right. have another, like we have a little cheat sheet here, so we remember to all our talking points. Right. And, um, and then we have another section which has nothing in it right now. So well, we may come up with something during the video. Well, also too, I think a lot of people are like, you don't have to go on every, like once you go to one distillery tour, like tour, oh, yeah. you've kind of heard it. Yeah, you've kind of heard it. Um, I'd Makes for a like, long kind day. Of tastings or experiences of yeah. those. So. Definitely. Tastings or experiences or like one a day. One tour a day. Yep. All right. So, so what do you want to start? You want to start with distilleries first? No. Or you, where do you want to start? Let's start with whiskey. Whiskey? Okay. Liquor <laughs> stores, bars, and pours of whiskey. Well, it's all whiskey. Yes, it is. It's all Some whiskey. of these kind of branch in between different sections. So. Right. Yep. The first one on the list is actually somewhere we went... Our very first time and every in time we're out there every time we're out there we go there but also our very first visit there that was the first place that we went mm -hmm. to and that's justin's house of bourbon yep it's such a cool experience yes it is and i'll say that because one you walk in and it's like whiskey whiskey and then like a kind of like a museum right yep. and the museum is cool because it's old really old bottles really cool looking old bottles that they have bought off of secondary to yep. so they're not, they're, for the most people, they're not gonna be affordable, right? They're there to be something cool to look at and be like, wow, I saw that. Some people could buy them. And that's where Justin's gets a lot of flack, but it's, that's such a minor portion. Like, they have so many shelves there of just regular whiskey you can go in and buy. That's normal price. Their store pick shelf oh. are amazing. And they have great prices on their store they're, picks. They're pores. We've their got pours some really right. good pores there. We have great go, pours. Go say hi to Miriam if you're there. Miriam's there. Yep. Oh yeah. Ryan Alves, he's sometimes in and out. I think he's mostly in the Lexington store, mm -hmm. which we have not been to that one. We've always been to Louisville. Yeah, we only go to Louisville, but we love our experience there every time. Yeah, so great pours, great cocktails you can try, great store picks you can buy. Yep. Um, and if there's like, obviously they have allocated bottles, they're just going to be second, like secondary prices. They'll be more expensive. They're more than secondary prices because they are bought for secondary. Yep. So there is a great place to visit. Really cool spot. Great place to meet people at. So, yep. Yeah. So that's item one. Item Number two, one. just down the street from Justin's, you have Evergreen, Evergreen Liquors, the Nulu store. Some people call it Nulu. Nulu, yeah. Well, Nulu's the area. Evergreen Liquors, Nulu. Um, they have they have a massive selection of stuff. We picked up a bunch of whiskey there. Um, I mean, their pours got a. I mean, we've had Pappy 15 there. We've had Birthday Bourbon there. We've had King Kentucky 15, King Kentucky 18, 
Um, old Forester Angel shared Angel the 115 share. series. Yeah. We've, had We've had a bunch of different ports. They have a massive wall of Orphan ports. barrels. Oh, so. and pretty great prices. Yes. Like, some things are more expensive. You're going to pay a little more, but not, like, not out of the range of what you should be paying for a yeah. pour for them. Like, really great pours and really amazing opportunities to try things that you wouldn't normally get to try. Yep. It's awesome. So, and everybody's always been so nice to us there. Yep. So it's a great experience. Every, evergreen liquors. Yeah, evergreen evergreen liquors for yep. sure. And new liquor. So the next one, we have Neat. The Neat Bottle Bar. I think that's what it is. Neat? Yeah. Neat. neat. If you want some dusty pours, that's the place to go. Um, we've gotten some good pours there. We've had some had some pre-fire pre Heaven Hill. You had some older wild turkey. I, I, I'm always going to buy the older wild yeah. turkeys. I love the wild turkeys. But neat is, you cannot miss it if you want some dusties. If you want some old bottles. You can even buy dusties. You can. So they, they have they a bottle have a shop. shop. They have a bottle shop. We bought our Master's Keep Cornerstone there. Um, so Wild turkey there's, gloves. And, and you can get newer stuff. Like I, I think the first time there, I got some pours of some, uh, uh, what was it? It was ECBP private barrels. Oh, yeah. Uh, private, they're picked. Those are so good. So, yeah, they have some awesome pours over there. So, you, you can't pass up neat if, if you're out in that area. Speaking of pours. Be speaking of pours. Speaking of pours. Yeah. The pours at Liquor Barn. Okay, this is the well, coolest. Well, I was going to say, you can go to any liquor barn. Yeah, any liquor any barn. Any liquor barn has pours. Any liquor barn. Now, one that we highly recommend is the one at Springhurst Town Center. They yep. have a huge selection of bottles. It's such it's a massive wall. It's a massive yeah. wall. But to me, well, actually to both of us, you would agree, but being able to go to a liquor store and try things, yep. they're even willing to let you, like if they have a pick on the shelf that they don't have at the bar, they're willing to say, hey, go grab it off the shelf and bring it in. Well, at least that's what that guy said. Yeah, that's what the guy I, told we us. We haven't done that, so don't know for sure. But he told so. us, he said, you can go on the shelf and find one of our picks that you want to try and pour. We'll I think that guy could have been new. But I think that's Because he did charge us next to nothing for a pour of Parker's Heritage. Anyway, so. you can... <laughs> the pours are very reasonable prices. Yes. So, like the best prices in all of... That we've had so far. Yeah. So go to any liquor barn. Some of them have bigger selections than the others, but they do have some good selections of stuff. Like we got Will at Purple Top at one. Not that particular one, but... I don't remember which one. There's one of them we got yeah. a little purple top. I think it was There were South several Louisville. of them that they had them at. But yeah, and I, they're not bad prices. And then prices. the last place on the list, this is a place we haven't been, but we we want to go there next time we're out there, is Watch Hill Proper. Yeah. So we can't talk much about it. It is a place we want to go to. We've heard about so much. So that one's we can't talk too much about. Just we know we want to go there. Yeah, and it's on our list for sure, and yep. we've heard great things from our whiskey friends about going to Watch Hill Proper, and I know they hold a lot of events. They host a lot of events yep. with, like, releases and things like that. So, excited to go there. So, that's our liquor stores, bars, and pours of whiskey. But now we got to get to the food. You could have pours of whiskey bars in some of the food section, too, and some of the distilleries. You could. So, uh, let's do food. So, first, you want to cover this one? Food! Okay, this is actually my favorite place to go in Kentucky for food. And that is because every time we go there, we go to this place and it is amazing. That is Bargetown Bourbon Company. You're gonna need a reservation. So as yep. soon as you know you're going to Kentucky, you gotta book your reservation for Bargetown Bourbon Company's restaurant. Yep. Their food is phenomenal. They have incredible poutine, they have oh, steak frites, yeah. they have poutine. chicken fried, the fried sandwiches. The fried chicken. Oh yeah, fried chicken. The fried sandwiches. chicken. Oh. No, I didn't get the sandwiches. I got the fried chicken. Oh yeah, the fried chicken. But the fried chicken steak is frites, amazing. The poutine, amazing. It's and not Louisville. It's Bardstown. Bardstown. So you gotta drive to get over there, but you can't pass it up. And you they, pass it I up. mean, great experiences there. We'll talk about the distillery experience. Like, oh god, sorry. No, yeah, we'll talk about the distillery distillery experience when we talk about distilleries to visit. But yeah. The I've food heard, there. I've also, in that same area, I've heard people talk about Willet. Um, we have not been there for food, but I know one of the things people, was it like the ch egg salad or chicken salad sandwich? Yeah, you like egg salad, we've heard it's for great. For me, no, I hate that stuff, so I'm not going to go there, but I know a lot of people love Willet. Not food. my jam either. Yeah, so. Uh, but the food, they have, and they also have, sorry, didn't go ahead. but they also have great options for cocktails. Their cocktails are fantastic. 
at yeah. Bargetown Bourbon oh, yeah, Company. Yeah. yeah, Bargetown has great cocktails. They yeah. have also a really I good love list of pours. It's really good. Yeah. It is really good. So next, uh, this is a place we went to when we were just out there this past December, December of 2022. Uh, Proof on Main, and I did just see so Fred Minnick just posted something yesterday as we recorded this video. He was at Proof on Main doing some stuff. Oh, um, but yeah, Proof on Main. We had quite possibly one of the best bison burgers we've ever had at that place. So freaking, it had, like it was cooked, like I like mine cooked like medium rare to medium, yeah, my burger. It was perfect. It was cooked perfectly. It had so much flavor, loaded with flavor. Yeah. Like loaded with flavor, so, the fries were good. We had some octopus. I like the another. octopus, it didn't I would, agree with you. I was just a little allergic, yeah. that's fine. But um, yeah. Great drink selection, yep. good food. Highly recommend Proof on Main. It's a good atmosphere. And that was a recommendation from uh, Emily? Emily? Yeah, Emily Franchi. Emily Rory Franchi. Yeah, yeah, Rory yeah. Emily Franchi. <laughs> the Franchis. The Franchis took us there and it was great. Yep. Uh, so the next one we have, this is a place we haven't been. We've heard a lot about it and it is on our place to go next time we're out there. Yeah. It is Repeal Steakhouse. I think it's over in the Hotel Distill, uh -huh. um, which is like a block or so away from Justin's and right near Old Forester. Um, yeah, Repeal Steakhouse, I wanna go. I love steak, so. Me too, but everybody that has been there that we know that we're good friends with says great things about yes, it. Yes, yes. So many great so, things about it, so. We, we can't are, talk about too much, except we are going to go there next time. We're there. We are gonna go there, <laughs> for sure, so. Uh, the, next one. the next one is one that we love too. We've been to twice now. Yeah, we, it's, our first two times there. We didn't yep. go this last time. Yeah, our first two times, which we'll go again for yeah. sure. But this is Sidebar, and it's on Whiskey Row. So good. It's really good. It's kind of like you like walk in, you feel like you're kind of in a basement. Yeah, it's like you, you, there's Whiskey Row and the, the Yum Center right there, and it's kind of like on a side street. Yeah. And it's kind of off to the side. It's kind of <laughs> a hidden little gym back there. It's a hidden gym for sure. Yeah. Their burgers are fantastic. Fries, drinks, everything are really... Like, Good prices on drinks and cocktails. If you want to go have drinks, cocktails. If you want a little bit more laid back, like yes, lunch, definitely. lunch or like a Even laid back dinner. dinner. Yeah, laid back had, lunch, laid back dinner. We had dinner the first time there, and the second time we had lunch there. Yep, so. it's good to carb up and fill up before burger you go. Burger and fries. Burger, burger and, fries. and fries. I love burgers and fries. I think they have other stuff, but that's what we've gotten every time. Yeah, super good. Yep. Next place. Uh oh. North of Bourbon. North Do you of mean bourbon. meat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> North of Bourbon. Inside so that place has some crazy good food and some awesome pours. Some of their barrel picks there. So this kind of goes into the previous section with the bars, pours, and whiskey. North Bourbon. Uh, I mean, we were there drinking. Uh, what? Uh, we bought the uh, Knob, Knob Creek. Creek. Knob Creek North of Bourbon Blackout pick. So uh, good. Really good. So you cannot skimp on North of Bourbon. They have great there. picks. They have fantastic food. They really yes, do. Yes, they do. And it's kind of cool. Like when you go in, it's a real small place, but they have like these big barrels. Oh there's yeah, like they're three like booths. Or, they're, yeah, there's like three or four of them, I think. And they're booths. Like you go inside this big barrel. It's so cool. It's, it's, it's really cool. I kind of wish we had one down here. That would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Like recording from a barrel. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, now. So yeah, that was all the food. That was food. That, that was that's food where we've that been. We which I mean, those are places we like. We'd love to go. We've to had other places there, but that's just what we like. Our favorites. Now to the distilleries. Oh wait, there was one other place. Was it? Uh, thinking about when I think it was in May we went. This is kind of ad lib here. Um, we went to a little Mexican restaurant oh. over near Angel's Envy that was pretty good. It was good. It was. Like, uh, we got some margaritas there. Yeah, it was super inexpensive yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, a little Mexican restaurant. I cannot remember so the name good. of it, but it's right near Angel's Envy. Um, so if you're over in that area. Look up whatever well, little Mexican we'll restaurant we'll have to look it up. It's really yeah, good. It has good ratings. So that's like if you look on yep. Google ratings, you'll see that it has like higher stars. You'll you'll know from that. Yep. I'll look it up and I'll try to find it and put it in the comments. Yeah, yep. that was a pretty good place. It is good. I don't know why it just popped in my head. So I now I'm really it. hungry. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so next up are distilleries. Yep. These are places and experiences that we've done. We've narrowed them down to what we like to do from each distillery that we've been to. Yeah, and are we going to necessarily go back to these distilleries every time? No, some of them, yes. So, yeah, why don't you start it up? All right, so the first one we've already talked about, but that's Bargetown Bourbon Company. The Bargetown Barrel Thieving, highly yes. recommend. We've done it twice. It's so cool. It's awesome. You get a thief, you get a drink straight out of the barrel from their distillate, and it's 
really, it's a great experience. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a great experience. You get a tasting, you get to go to the speakeasy, yep. you get to have pours, you get to hang out and talk and learn about the history and why they did things the way they oh, did yeah. or why they're doing things the way they're doing things at Bardstown is really cool. They, if you go to Bardstown's website, they have a huge list of different things you can do there between the barrel thieving, they have just like small tastings, they have the big whiskey library, Mm -hmm. um i think there's a master distiller thing there's all kind there's yeah. cocktail classes yep. um so bardstown is correct me if i'm wrong but that's one of those places we're gonna go to every time every time we're gonna go eat there every time we're there but we, this last time we didn't do any tours there we just went to eat but i think next time we might do another tour like yeah. cocktail class or something like yeah that. we'll definitely do something so they we have need all to kinds do of stuff like there. they have it's, like a it's awesome. yeah it's really cool. It's a great experience. So definitely recommend Bardstown Bourbon yep. Company. I know that like some people are like, well, we're staying in Louisville. We don't want to go out to Bardstown. Do it. Grab an Uber for the day. Yeah, that might be expensive for an Uber, but it's cheaper than anything else. Yeah. So do that. Okay. Next up, we've got Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. Now, Wild Turkey, they're not open yet. Sorry, my pillow is The moving. times we've been there, they haven't been open. They're, I think they should be opening soon. They're... Their tour, actual visitors, yeah, center. their new the visitor center, their new tours, they should be opening up soon. Just not there yet, but they're getting close when we went there the last time. But if you're there, you have to go see Bo. Yep, Bo is Bo. at the visitor center. Bo is an amazing person. Great stories. Sometimes you might see Jimmy Russell out there. Yep, Jimmy Russell will be there every once in a while. He, he hasn't been there. We've been there. Yeah, well, last time he had the flu. Yep. But yeah, Jimmy Russell. The it's just. It's a cool place. It's got a lot of great history. And um, yeah, Bo is great. He'll share so many good stories. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's in the back bar. Sometimes he's in the front. But definitely go check it out and ask for Bo if you're there. Yeah, and when we go back, once the visitor center is open, we're going to go back and do a tour. I can't wait to do a tour. You guys know I love wild turkey. So. I love wild turkey. So. And over in that same area of wild turkey, you have Four Roses. Yeah. Uh, Four Roses, the new visitor center they they wow. built there. Oh, it's so cool. It's beautiful. Um, it's really. Beautiful. We did do the tour at Four Roses, and that's really cool. Um, be careful if you do that in the middle of summer and you go into where the uh, fermenters are. It is so hot. It is the hottest one because we did all of them in the heat of summer that oh, yeah. one day. Yep. That was by far the hottest tour of them all. Yep. But then you go into the bar. So when we were there May of 2022 and December of 2022, um, we were able to get pours of the 2020, no, 2020 LE. LE. And Both oh, times. Yeah, so good. So good, 2020 LE. And th they have great reasonable prices on their pours in yep. the bar for like their limited releases and yep. things like yep. that. So definitely recommend and, it. It's so beautiful. And just so, uh, Four Roses, every once in a while, they do release special bottles like the 18-year or the barrel strengths, things like that. There also is another facility over near Bardstown, the Cox's Creek. They they have a small shop there, uh, but they're, you can go check there for bottles. Um, and Wild Turkey, we, we skipped that one. Every once in a while, they do have bottles over there. Like the day before we were there, they released uh, Master Keep Unforgotten. So, so here's, we just missed it there. Sorry. But, Here's a secret on those. There are Facebook groups that you can follow and that's yep. what we do generally. And they're like, what does Buffalo Trace have today? What does Wild yep. Turkey have today? What does Four Roses have today? Those are literally the names. Yep. So go search on Facebook if you're curious, like if you're going on a trip there and you're like, wonder what they're gonna release that day, go search and see and they might have a special release the day you're there. It always happens the day before we're there that they release something. It's true, yep. it is true, well, that's okay. Um, All right, so I guess back to the Bardstown area, what we got? Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill. They actually have some really cool tours there mm -hmm. we've done. So we did the Heaven Hill Bottle Your Own, bottle your own Twice. Yep. And that's so fun because you get to bottle your own bottle. You So you get to pick from like three bottles generally. And mm -hmm. you get to bottle it, label it, like fill it. It's, it's a cool experience. It really is a cool experience. Yeah, the bottles they've had when we've been there have been Bernheim. the ECVP. They've been Bernheim, the cash, barrel strength, cash strength, whatever it is. Um, and Larceny Barrel Strength. They did not have the William Heaven Hill when we've been there. So. No, not any time we've been there. We got ECVP each time. But we also did a Connoisseur's Tasting. And yep. the Connoisseur's Tasting is great because you usually get to try a Parker's Heritage. Yep. They will generally, well, from what I've heard, they always offer a bottle to, like a bottle of what you've tasted in that Connoisseur's Tasting to buy. Yep. That's 
generally a hard to get bottle. Now, when we were there, it was Heaven Hill bottle, bottle and Heaven Hill bottle and bond. But we've heard from many people that they've gotten Parker's Heritage from yep. that. They do other things. So and it was the Parker's Heritage. When we got to do it, it was the Parker's Heritage Orange Curacao. Yeah, which I love. It's really good. You like it more than I do. We I still would have bought it if they would have offered it. Just we got offered Heaven Hill. Yeah, we got offered Heaven Hill. So there's that. But it's a good experience. It especially gives you an opportunity to buy a bottle you might not be able to buy from where you're from. So, all right. So the next place on the list is somewhere we have learned we really love to go to. Yep. And we love the tastings at Peerless. And that's because it's such a great experience. The guy, his name is Bill. Uh, I yes. think it's Bill. So Peerless is in downtown Louisville. It's over near Michter's. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we've done the tastings there. We haven't, haven't done tours. Nope. And the tastings are like 12 bucks a person. It's a great yeah. price. And you get to try like four or five different pours. Four, four, four different four. pours. I think you get to try their small batch rye, small batch bourbon, and then two a, single barrels. And then a single barrel bourbon and a single barrel rye tip. I think that's what we've had. A I think we've so. done it. Yeah. But overall, it's a great tasting. It's really great tasting. And good um, history lesson. It's a, yeah, it is a great history lesson. Bill, the guy that has done it for us, has yep. been really enthusiastic, really fun, and it's a small group of people. Yep. Like they only like 12 people at a time. Bless your heart. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Bless your pee peeking heart. Yeah. No, but it's such a fun experience, and I love the tastings there, and I can't wait to go back. I think we'll do that probably numerous times. Yeah. We didn't do it this last time, but we, the previous two, previous two times, times we've done it. So and we, we've usually done the last tasting of the day. It's just because we're moving around doing all kinds of stuff, but Peerless, the, the tasting is awesome. It is awesome. It really is. Another cool experience we loved Downtown was... Downtown Louisville. Another one, so you can go, for, yep. like, you can do this first. Like, this is backwards order. Yeah, we just kind of listen stuff, so. But you can go to Old Forester. Old Forester is so cool. I was so excited to go to Old Forester because, one, I love Old Forester. But I was like, when I walked in and they have that still. Oh, yeah. That... Straight up in the middle of the floor. Yeah, like huge. It's beautiful. It's super beautiful. And the tour is so cool. It smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like, their white dog smells great. And then you're gonna go see the Cooperage. They have like the Cooperage is the best part of that tour. It's so cool. They are firing up whiskey and chocolate's pretty good too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it, the Cooperage and their laboratory was really cool. Yeah. Like where they were like the bottles were like yep. rolling through. Anyway, it was really cool. It was one of the coolest tours I've been on, and it was something that was like super kind of like interactive. And yeah, the Cooperage was cool. Cooperage was like, pretty cool. They're like blasting their barrels right there in front of yep. us. Now that's not their entire source of Cooperage, but that no, was... no, no, this is a small facility. And then we have heard, hasn't happened for us, but people have gotten like the Old Forester 150th. Um, they've oh, got the yeah. 117 series after tours. So it we, hasn't happened for us at those, but we only did the tour once. But, um, it was and really then the cool. Other, we've only been able to do it once, which was May. Both Decembers we were there, they were close. First time was the Rona. Rona. Second time it was just closed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, the next thing. Just down the street. Just down the street. Mictors. 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 We haven't done the tour there yet. We have not done the tour. Um, we were. We want to. We just haven't had the opportunity to yet. Um, but we have been to the bar, and the bar is pretty damn cool. The bar is really cool, and they have some great pours yep. on that bar. Yep. The bar is great. And I see on the Mictors Facebook group all the time that people are get, picking up the barrel strength rise, the 10-year rise, ten the year bourbons, bourbons, all yeah. kinds of stuff. So keep a lookout there. Yeah, especially because sometimes they'll release them in the middle of the day when they're tours. Yep. Like they'll be like, oh, here, because you are on a tour. You can buy this if you want. So, um, oh, the, the, uh, the la I think this is the last thing on the list because I can't think of any others. Can you? Um, No, I really can't think of anything else. Okay. Yeah. So the last place because we have no other, is what? I was going to try to say it. Everyone's been waiting for it. Waiting for it. The taters have been waiting for it. What is it? Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. So, it's... Buffalo Trace, it is a really cool place to go see. The, the history of it, going through the tour. I think we did the Trace tour when we were there. That, that was cool. I would like to do like the ghost tour that they do at night. That would be really cool. I want to do the tour um, that they do at the warehouse. But the problem with Buffalo Trace is there are so many people there. 
so many tours going on all at once. Well, and then they have just like the people that line up in the morning. Yeah. Four hundred people to get the bottle of Blanton's Special Reserve, E. H. Taylor, Rare. or Eagle Rare, and. <laughs> It gets to be a pain sometimes when you go over there, but you have to go see the facility and the history of it. It's phenomenal. The history is amazing. Yes. That's what's really cool about like, it. Like, I think we, we had a tour at like one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. Yeah. And we got there about 30 minutes early, but because of how many people were there in line just to go to the gift shop, it we were four minutes late, five minutes late to yeah, our tour. Which is crazy. And we were there 30 we, minutes early 30, because so, of checking in and everything. So, so go an be hour aware, early. Be aware if you have a tour there, you need to go early. Yep. Because of just how many people are there. Definitely. So as we said, if I didn't say, it's a shit show. <laughs> it is, but it's it's still cool. The history is really cool. Yep. The tour is really cool. So there's that. I, I don't know if we'll go back again. We might go back and do I'd like to do the ghost tour. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, I'm going to go. They have the the where, or the E.H. Taylor tour, I think. The yeah, Taylor tour. the Warehouse C tour. I, I think it's called the Taylor tour. Yeah, I don't know. I would love but, to do that. But yep. Anyhow. The Trace tour, definitely recommended if, if you're out there and haven't been on a, a tour. For sure. For sure. So there you have it. That's our trip to Kentucky. That's what we like to do. That, yep. that Those are the places we like to go. Um, if you guys have any other ideas or recommendations, leave them in the comments. Let us know. Like, if you've done some of these things, let us know what you think. We're curious. Anyhow, that's all we've got for you. That's what we got. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. That's Bill. And we will see you next time. <laughs>